Hi, Lee Vassad from HN Gamers here with a quick tutorial on how to set up Atavism for Windows. We'll cover Linux on a different tutorial. The first thing we want to do is go over to the Atavism and go to the downloads. We're going to scroll to the very bottom before we make a selection on our download version. And we're going to go and download the Atavism Manager. We'll scroll back to the top and we'll select the version that you want to download. For this tutorial, we're going to use x.2.1. And we're going to want to download the server, the Atavism editor for Windows, the Atavism core or demo. If you're on a slow internet connection, make sure you use the demo, which is divided. If you want to do Aegis edits, which is server edits, download the Aegis and we'll cover that. And once those are all downloaded, we'll go through the process of setting everything up. Since we've already downloaded all of that, we'll skip the download processes and we'll just start setting things up. We're going to go ahead and choose 2019.4.12 for this tutorial. Since we're going to be doing a series of tutorials, we'll just create one and use this for all tutorials. So while we're waiting for Unity to set up, we'll go ahead and set up some of the other things. We'll set up our Adam as a manager. Once you find the location that you want to select and install it, go ahead and install. Choose yes on UAC. And while we're waiting for that to install, we'll go ahead and configure the rest of it. You can use either the demo or the core. The process is the same. What is installed and configured is different. There's a few other additional steps that we'll go through. We'll set up some, uh, we'll install the server, we'll download OpenSSL, we'll configure the server, and we'll make sure everything is functional so that you can actually log in to the running server on your machine. One of the things that you're going to need is OpenSSL. So you can go to the wiki of OpenSSL. Always use a reputable source to download. And you can choose this one here, Windows 64 or 32-bit. Download that. It's a portable version of it. So out of the demo is downloaded or uh, ready to import. We'll just click the import on Unity and let it do its thing. Run another command prompt as administrator. And then you can go to the directory where the Atavism manager was installed.
always run this as administrator. A quick way to get that to occur every single time you open the application is to go ahead and right click on the, app, the application, go to properties, compatibility, and choose run this application or this program as an administrator. Click OK. And then the next time you execute it, it will launch as a uh, administrator. Go ahead and click the three ellipses here. Choose the Atavism server that you downloaded from the website. Click open, click install. And you can see that it executes the install and then it does all of the configurations and sets up your MySQL server. At that point in time, you can click uh, your license configuration down here, edit your configuration for your email, apply it, edit your license key, apply that. And then you can click on start for your authentication server and start on your world server. We'll verify that everything executes. And as long as we see this message, you should be good to go for the next part. We'll stop the servers. And then close the windows. At this point, we're going to go and we're going to go to our location where we had downloaded our OpenSSL. This is in our downloads folder. And we're going to copy this path. We're going to come over to the how to RSA key configuration file, which you found inside of the Atavism Manager bin how to RSA key configuration. You're going to place this in front. Put quotes around OpenSSL. Paste it in front of here. Again, putting quotes and a slash in front of OpenSSL. Around that line. Again here. A slash. Quotes. go to the folder that we downloaded earlier and we're going to change directory to the out of the server to the bin folder and we're going to execute this first command We're going to enter a password, confirm that password. We're going to then copy and paste the next command and hit enter. And we're going to type in our password. The next command and our password. The next command and our Password is not required for that one. And then we're going to read this. And it says generate the key, export the public key, copy the public key to your Unity project, and place it into the resources folder in your project. So that is the addism key.txt. Addism key.txt. We're going to copy this and we're going to stick this. to the resources folder here. Go back to Unity 
and it says, are you sure you want to process Atavism setup for Unity? We're going to go ahead and click setup. And what that's going to do is it's going to configure Unity for everything that we need. And it's going to go ahead and import all of the settings, all of the configurations, all the files, and everything that we're waiting for so that we can go ahead and go to the next step. While we're waiting for that, we'll go ahead and install the Atavism. Editor. And we'll choose your install location. And we'll go ahead and run it. We'll go ahead and add in a new project. And this will be our Atavism tutorials. Unity Engine, our project folder, and we'll go to our tutorials and we'll choose that, select it. Everything else is filled out for us. Let's scroll down. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say 127.0.0.1. Port is 3306. Admin, not admin, fill the other groups. So we're going to say, yep, okay, and then we're going to say add. And then you can click this. And you should have access to everything within your server on your database. Go back to Unity. Go to Windows. Atavism Editor. We'll say same credentials. Database port 3306. Root is our password, our user, test, test account, unable to connect. Uh, yep, I think this is the one that's, yep, success. This one requires 127001. And then they're all filled out. And you can go over here, player character setup, access your users. Then, what we need to do is go to build settings. The very minimum that you need is login, character selection, and main world. All the rest are accessible if you wish. We're going to go to Dragon Sand, Scenes, open this. And now we could remove sample scene, open the character selection. Unload that. Open the main world. Unload that. I always click add open scenes and I'll remove anything that's not accessible over here. Now we can go ahead and click start. go to Atavism Core, and it defaults to this if you don't enter anything, but I like to force it. Now it won't function because I don't have my license key in here, but We should be able to take that. Yep, because we don't have our license key. 
quick edit off screen for the license key. And we can go ahead and start the thing and log in with our previously created user. And once we've gotten to this point, we can put our username in, hit enter, and enter the game. So that was a quick tutorial on how to set up the Atavism. At that point in time, you should be able to log in uh, once all this was configured and then begin to uh, testing and rocking around, creating your characters and all of that. Uh, the next tutorial we'll follow up with is likely the Linux one or an additional tutorial. Until next time, have a great day.